this is Isaiah 14 and 16. They that see thee shall narrowly, uh, matter of fact, this is Esau saying, this is 14, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high, man. He ascends with those space stations. So therefore, he's trying to be like, he said, I will be like the most high. He thinks he's God, man. Yet thou shalt be brought down to the hell, to the grave, to the sides of the pit. So you're going to be brought all the way down. And you're going to be possessed, man. You're going to be brought all the way down to slavery, man. And it says, and it says, uh, verse 16, it says, they that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, is this the man that made the earth to tremble, that did shake the kingdom? They gonna, how they gonna look at Esau, man, when you be, when you get taken out of your, your power, your power seat, man. Because you are the base of all men, man. So the Lord is getting ready to take you down. And when he puts you back in your base state, everybody gonna look at you like, man, this, this the damn man that they had everybody in disarray, he ain't shit. You gonna go right back to your caveman state, man. Eating from up under the juniper roots, man. You gonna be back in your filthy state, man. You know? It says, it says, uh, verse eight, he shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found. He shall be chased away as the vision of the night. Because like a dream, a lot of times you have a dream, you can't remember. You know, you remember it sometimes you wake up, but if you, you get to move, you won't even remember a dream. So Esau ain't gonna even be remembered, man. You know? And it says, uh, verse nine, that I also which saw him shall see him no more. Neither shall his place, his place anymore behold him, man. So you won't be in rulership no more, man. The Lord is getting ready to take you all the way out. But you're going to serve that thousand years of slavery and build our kingdom up. And then after that thousand years, we're going to put you to death, man. You're basically going to build a pit and walk you Edomites to it. You're going to walk the plank off your death, man. To your death, man. One by one, man. But, you know, I'm going to make you do it one by one. So the anticipation, the anticipation is going to be worse than you going into that fire, man. Lord willing, uh, he let me be one of them elect men, man. And, and all the brothers who come out, who've been commanded to come out, who are coming out on the highways and byways, man. You know. Baba Kasha, man. Let us be them men. I'm going to make a walk one by one, man. You know? And it says... It says, uh, verse 10, His children shall seek to please the poor, and his hands shall restore their goods, man. So his hands are going to restore our goods. When you read in Isaiah the 60th chapter, our gates are going to be open continually. You're gonna be bringing our everything that you take it from us. You're gonna we're gonna get back, man. And they, right now they they always try to like I said seek to please the poor, man. I saw I saw a thing on TV. What his Edomite dude was helping? Uh, he had a bakery. He was basically hiring homeless people. He was trying to hire basically like he had like homeless uh, Jake females, man. You know, like he really trying to do something for the Af African Americans, man. You know, that's what they do, man. Don't let them own an apartment complex and they have Jake in there. They come in there and paint the countertop. That's another of $40 on your rent every month. Don't let them come put no carpet down. That's an extra hundred you finna pay a month. Or take the carpet up and put hardwood floors. You finna pay for that, man. 
but they act like they helping you out. You know? It says, you want to help us out, just kill yourself, man. Just go ahead and take yourself out. That'll be helping, that'll be pleasing the poor. That'll be help pleasing us, man. Just take yourself out, man. But the Lord is here to take you out. That's why he, he, has, he has your head, the scripture says, your head is in the clouds, man. You are, you are so uh, proud, man, to the point you feel like nothing can take you down, man. And how about Shai is getting ready to take you completely out. He's letting your pride go through the roof, man. They the proudest people on the planet. You know? That's why the, when the Lord comes back, it's going to be devastating, man, on how he's going to take y'all out. He's going he gonna to take you out, man. Because like I said, Esau, you own the air, you own the sea, and the land. Whoever owns the air, you own the planet. So the Lord is getting ready to show you who's the king of the air, man, when, the, when his son come back, man. You know you're Israelite? Never heard of it? I really ain't even been in there to the Bible. Hey, hey, but you know, hey, man, that's, that's uh, a, lot, a, lot, a lot of our people, new and old. A lot of our people, like, I didn't ever read the Bible until probably like eight, nine years ago. I'm going to ask you about this one. Go ahead. I done read this in the Bible before, the beef with seven heads, yeah. ten horns. Mm -hmm. That's what John, that's what John the Revelator saw. Now that, that, that beast that had the seven heads, we in 2018. So you have to ask yourself, what were, they got visions, right? Back then, they didn't know what they were seeing. They, they saw visions and wrote it down, but now it's for us to break it down in this time, because we're in the end. Those, that, those seven heads you, you see right there, that's NATO. You already know what NATO is, right? The EU. The NATO up in New York, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. You ever knows when them big leaders come to America, they say, I always say that we're going to have a NATO meeting, them summit meetings they have in New York. That's the, that's the beast, man. Because them, that power structure runs the whole world. And they don't have any of these people on this side that be in them meetings, man. None of the Israelites in the meeting. What about the Jesus E.S. nigga? It's, it's, uh, it's, it says Jesus is, it's, it's, it's Spanish. It's saying, when the Spanish people read it, I'm telling them that the Lord is a black man. No Blanco, he's not a white man because them Spanish brothers think he's a white man too. You ever, I mean, when we read the scripture for you, you ever read in the Bible? What? What do you say, you're a black man? Well, I'm, no. I'm going to read it to well, you. I ain't from here, man. I'm really just a... Hey, man, it don't matter where you're from, bro. Just, I can say hey, as long as you're on this planet, you're an Israelite. I know you're an Israelite. <laughs> Look at it. I just just like some search, man. Trying to make it a woman. Uh, it says this right here. Revelation. Revelations 1 and 1, the revelation of, of, of Yahushua, Mashiach, which the Lord God gave unto him to show him his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he signified it by his angel and his servant John. So John the Revelator got these revelations when he's banished to the island of Patmos. This is our Revelations 1 and 13, 14. It says his hairs, his head, and his hairs were white like wool. Right. Right? Now that's that's a metaphor, a simile, saying his, his hair is like a woolly texture. Right? Now who on the planet got woolly texture on their head? That tribe right there, Judas, who are the so-called Negroes, they have that little afro and be like wool. Right? Now he don't have that. He got long stringy hair, so that's strike one, right? And it says, white as snow. Right? Mm -hmm. That's why you see that white, because he had that wisdom, and plus the grief of his people when he was trying to teach his people. Mm -hmm. The Negroes, the Latinos, and the Native Americans got to remember at the time the Lord was here, we was under captivity in the Roman Empire. He was trying to teach his people like, hey, these folks are against you. But you got our people, some of our people, we call them uh, sellouts. You know what I'm saying? You didn't see them before. They'll they are help, they help the white man. Dog, you are right in front of the white man. This your people. And you go in the Old Testament, Moses, when he saw that, he was like, wait a minute. Moses grew up under Pharaoh now. When he saw how they were doing his people, Moses was like, nah, I'm with my people. But see, you got a lot of people, a lot of people, when they go deal with the white man, they'll, they'll, they'll dog you out instead of helping you out, right? It says, 
That's why the Lord had that grief, man. Yo, bro, man. Uh, I'm gonna read. Let me finish it. I know you got it, bro. It says, uh, his head is his hair is white like wool, as white as snow. And his eyes were the flame of fire, right? Because he was angry. His eyes is red. His eyes blue, right? Too. And it says, and his feet like us fine brass, right? Brass is a brown color. Is all that coming out the Bible? Yeah. It says, as if they. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not speaking this through my own. Which it says. And his feet like unto fine brass, right? As they burn in a furnace. And his voice was the sound of many waters, meaning he had a deep voice. Now brass is a brown color, bronze. It said like it was burnt in a furnace. So that means this man here, this describe him as a dark man. This dude here is a red man. So, so you have the people believing in the stronghold, our people. When they think of the Lord, this image is in their head. It's, it's a stronghold that our people got to break. They don't have the image of the true description in their head. This is going to keep them, when the Lord come back, this is going to have a lot of our people get killed. I'm going to ask you a question. You know? Do you believe in having your brother when they down? I got it. Okay. I'm I'm sorry. I don't have it now. I'm going to say, I'm so going to go ahead and I just hit something. But, but you know... What you just got that word? Yeah. Hey, if you believe in what you just read, the Lord gonna look out for you. Whatever, 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 whatever you got going on, you believe what you just heard. Yeah. Right? And don't and, and don't be thinking out oh, of some bullshit. Believe what you just heard. Whatever, whatever, he gonna help you. He gonna help you through. All right. You're an Israelite. You're not no African American. All right. Bro. Right? 